Sega. Spotted. Moving into position. Neutralizing. Did you? Okay, uh, yeah, bit of a rush start, so things are a bit rough. Okay, there we go. Or oh, wait. Uh... I now yeah, remember, I... you did want me to see the, the end of the trailer because of spoilers. Yeah, mostly, well, so, you would definitely so recognize what is going on there, but... Yeah, hmm? I, I have seen the trailer before. Okay. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, then we'll at least keep it somewhat of a surprise for anyone watching. Anyways, or everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... PSO Mighty Lieutenant Rukir at your service. And welcome to our first stream of Warhammer 40k Dawn of War. It does say Chaos Rising, but that's because there was an expansion released for the game that, well, changed the screen here. So, uh, yeah, we won't, be, we won't be seeing any Chaos during this game specifically. Yeah, uh, correction. This is first to of Dolph War 2. <laughs> hmm? You, you skipped the two parts. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Okay, this game well, is obviously the sequel to the previous you know, Dawn of War that we've played, but it plays quite differently. So, yeah. We get this. We get to select which of these. This will come after we're done with this, though. And then there is a third Dawn of War 2 game slash standalone expansion that uh, we will play as well. But for now, we just start here. We start a new campaign. We just well, Hillian, and let's go with recruit difficulty because. <clears throat> In some ways, this game is somewhat easier, but in others, it can be a bit of a slog. So, yeah, we're going with the easy difficulty again, just sort of for the fact that, that so that we don't get stuck at certain places. Subsector Aurelia. This cluster of worlds stands on the very edge of the Imperium of Man. 
From this frontier came the Blood Ravens, a chapter of the Emperor's own Space Marines. Bit on badly balanced there for a second. Captain Davian Thule and a handful of Space Marines lead the raw recruits defending these worlds. Now, another Space Marine joins this desperate battle. A newly promoted commander, ready to lead in our darkest hour. You are this Space Marine. And you will tip the balance toward victory. And yeah, another big difference is that uh, the cutscenes aren't in game. Just me, or me for Mumba look like a Tekken character <laughs> with the short hair. <clears throat> yeah, some of the hair. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, this definitely remains to let us read. Day one, stand with your brothers on Calderas. You are a Space Marine recently promoted to the rank of Force Commander. You have been sent to Calderas to help Captain Davian Thule stave off a massive orc invasion. Such is your reputation, the chapter expects you, that you alone will be enough to tip the balance of the fight to save Calderas. A man of few words, you are renowned for keeping calm in high-pressure situations and finding a path to victory in the face of overwhelming odds. A man of few words. Sounds like you. Calderas. <laughs> We Blood Ravens select our initiates from this world's fierce warriors. Calderas is the cradle and the future of our chapter. Now, the orcs would take it from us. This we cannot allow. It seems to switch between some three. Cover. <clears throat> Kill the orcs that are out in the open. Welcome, Commander. This is Captain Davian Thule in command here on Calderas. We are battling the orcs that threaten this world. They have us. You have dropped right into the combat zone. I am north of you with several squads of our initiates. We are under heavy fire and losing control of our flanks. Move north and provide support. Okay, I hope the gunfire isn't too loud. <clears throat> I'm... <laughs> this is fine. Clicking on a quick tip with the left mouse button brings up information to help guide you in Dawn of War 2. Yeah, no tutorial to train you on. Instead, we just get thrown right in it. Uh, yeah. Also, we are faced with a lot less uh, units than last time, and there's going to be no base building. Okay. Which a lot of people didn't like, and others did. Yeah, we'll be working with a lot more specialized troops. And yeah, we start off with our main character over here. Though it isn't the case where if they die, we lose. Well, if if they die, die, <laughs> then we <clears throat> then we would lose. But it's not like if they go down, that it's an instant loss. Similar to. Um, okay, the cover system still remains, as you can see. Which is going to be very useful when dealing with ranged enemies. <clears throat> and well, just disrupting them, disrupting their ranks also works a lot. <laughs> uh. Wait. <laughs> okay. This is going to be where it's either going to be clear that whether the gunfire is too loud or not, because it's pretty loud for me. <laughs> Not loud enough. Need more Tucker. Okay. <laughs> Get them out of here. They can go straight ahead. They might aim at me. Oh. Turn towards me, not aim. Reinforcements have arrived. Push forward in a 
Так. I'm going to be quiet mostly during all of this, since well, there, there's going to be a lot of dialogue going to happen. Oh, true. I almost got that. And yeah, the executions are here still. Well, still. I don't mind there not being a base building, but I do find it a bit weird that we looted it. Okay. Yeah, let's use a few more grenades to wash them out. And yeah, our commander here is mostly a melee fighter designed to disrupt the enemy ranks and such and be a tank. And this is also something new. We can find random war gear. So let's just pick that up. Focus them down. Yeah, I, I don't think they actually do any damage, or at least significant damage. Okay. Last ones. Okay. Over here we have our character, our well, the player character, and Tarkus. Well fought, Commander. But the Greenskins will not give us much time before they attack again. I need you and Sergeant Tarkas to take charge of driving the orcs back. Move up to the ruins east of here and prepare to repel the next orc wave. Okay. Let's put you closer. Yeah, we have to be a lot more strategic about this since we have a lot fewer units. Orc vehicle. Stay in cover. That truck has a heavy gun. More shooting, less dying, you kids! <laughs> and of course, the orcs are going to be orcs. Yeah. We can get info on a lot of things from clicking here, but. Get me some more boys! And these Yumis are sparking up me truck! Back through the tunnel! Boys! There we go. I don't think I'll need to explain too many things or have them explained by this. Like we have our abilities here, we have consumables, of which we can actually get more with uh, these supply kits. More orcs and lots of cover to use on our approach. Well done, Commander. Those orcs have opened a path through the hill somehow. Move forward and seal it. Supply crate. And here. Yeah. Yeah, if we bust, yeah, if we bust those open, we can get resources or refills from... Yeah. Okay. Grenades are good for clearing out occupied buildings. Which is new to this. Okay. There we go. And empty. are using a guard tower near the cave mouth. My squad can take it out with a grenade. <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> greenskins are clearly using that mine as a passage, Commander. Seal that entrance by any means necessary. Okay. You want to the bust these open when you can. Near the entrance over there. A well-placed grenade should ignite it and bring the whole cave down. I am kind of curious what would happen if you were to waste all of your grenades. Good work, Space Marines. The Greenskins will not be using that passage again anytime soon. But the leader managed to escape through the tunnel before we could kill him. That was our chance to cut this invasion off at the head. He will show himself again, Tarkas. And when he does, we will be ready. Thunderhawks are en route. Prepare for extraction. This victory will long be remembered in the okay. of glory. And, yeah, we get more rewards. Hey there, Pika. How are you doing today? <laughs> Hello there, Pika. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got ourselves an improved chainsword. And I think from this, you can take a good guess at how half of this game is going to be. <laughs> yeah, it's an RPG. Oh, dear. Like, I don't hate it. But still, I find it weird they removed the base building. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Strike Cruiser Armageddon. Yeah, I don't Commander. hate it. Calderas is currently facing a massive orc invasion that threatens to spill over to the entire sector. 
Urgent distress signals are coming from other nearby sectors, but we must concentrate our efforts here. I need you to take charge of an assault that's stalled on the surface below. Drop to the point marked on the planet map and start pushing into the orc's flank. Okay, let's see. Pika, very sleepy today. Have well. <laughs> but yeah, we get to level up our characters in a few trees. <clears throat> and of course, there's going to be, well, I weapon requirements. Like this stuff that I believe came along with uh, the Chaos Rising DLC or game or however you want to call it. Expansion. Uh, or some sort of deluxe edition that, that came along with a bunch of free records, that, you know, stuff that already came with it. Uh, we won't be able to use that for a while, but we will be able to just use these, the improved uh, chain swords. Hmm? Correction, I think someone then said level 3. Let's see, level 7, level 4, level 4, 5, 3, 5, 4, and some of them are just not usable by either of these squads. Is because we'll be getting a few more. Why else would they have this much space here? Oh, I didn't do that corner. <laughs> Let's see. Our main character here will want to upgrade a lot in stamina, which is going to be health, health regeneration. They're going to be up front and well, fighting in <laughs> and disrupting the enemy a lot. So yeah, we want health with them. Then we have ranged here. Uh, for example, then with current ranged weapon strength, we'll want this one up as well. At certain levels, we actually unlock certain skills that, like here, Battle Cry. Uh, ta -ta -ta. For a limited time, the Force Commander performs special attacks with each hand to hand strike, dealing damage and knocking enemies to the ground. Additionally, the Force Commander cannot be knocked down for the duration. And as you can see, there's plenty of these all over. We won't get we won't get enough points to fill everything out of here unless you were to mod the game or something. So you do have to uh, try and plan things out a bit. We can still undo this and go for that. I don't think health should be too much of a different, yeah, too much of an issue at the moment. So let's just go with the battle cry. Tarkus here. He is also a bit of a tank with his ability uh, ta tactical advance. Break suppression and reduce incoming range damage at the cost of movement speed. And then there's this here, taunt. So you can you can see combine those two, and he's going to be tough to take out. So Tarkus is going to be well somewhat of a tank as well. And they can improve equip the improved bolter. Let's see. I'd have an eight out of ten attack speeds, fifty percent accuracy. Don't expect many things to be too accurate. Then there's range, damage versus different infantry types. Obviously, of course, this is going to be mostly a, oh, just a lawnmower <laughs> of normal infantry. And then there's also extra bits, like improved damage while in cover, or like perks and such. Let's see, standard issue point, <laughs> 0.998 Godwin pattern bolter, firing self-propelled explosive tipped rounds. Each bolter is handcrafted and blessed by the Tech Priest of Mars, the signature weapon of the, of the Emperor's Space Marines. Okay. Oh, so much detail. Yeah, the improved chainsword. A lot less slower in attack, but a lot more accurate because, well, you're swinging it in melee. A lot better against heavy infantry and plus 10 melee damage resistance. So very good for someone who's going to be up front. Uh, Mark 10 Hell's Teeth Chainsword. A close combat weapon of choice against the, uh, among the Adeptus Astartes. The chainsword's monomolecular blades slice through most targets and its silhouette is a uh, symbol of the Imperium. Effective against infantry and lightly armored enemies. And yeah. We also have some other things here like these master crafted grenades but those are have a level requirement and well commander items can only be used by the commander of course okay and yeah this game is also going to be a lot less linear than the first dawn of war for the moment it's going to stay linear but at one point we'll be able to move to other planets and pick our own missions out of several ones for now let's see retake the hamlet Arges outskirts, the Badlands communities out e the east of the Arges settlement serve as a buffer between the desert wilds and the planetary capital. 
We'll see more about these little side bits here later. The Greenskins have taken over a hamlet outside Argus. This hamlet sits on a vital supply route, and all of Calderas could fall if we do not dislodge them. Sergeant Avatus and his squad of Devastator Space Marines held the hamlet alone, but they were finally overwhelmed. You must retake the hamlet and drive the orcs back. To aid in this, I am assigning Sergeant Cyrus and his squad of scouts to your command. His infiltration expertise should prove invaluable. <laughs> and I think you're going to like Cyrus. Okay. Our objectives, uh, our rewards. One thing I sort of dislike about this is that it doesn't have the in-world uh, <clears throat> the in-world camera moving around the, the battlefield or such. Uh, because that, that was just really nice in the first Dawn of War, but pros and cons, pros and cons. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's not a game changer or breaker. Yeah. I, I like, to put it simply, I like both the original Dawn of War and this one. If I had to say which one I'd prefer, it'd be hard to say, because, well, I'd say I prefer the combat, the gameplay of this one. I really do, have, I also very much like the first one for, well, being my introduction into the Warhammer 40k stuff, and, well, just its story and <laughs> its own gameplay. Anyways, yeah. um, Sergeant Tarkas, Tactical Squads. A veteran of centuries of campaigning, Tarkas leads his tactical marines to combat with confidence and a steely demeanor. Slow to anger, Tarkas is a rock-solid second-in-command and expert tactician. Tarkas served with Davian Thule in the Cronus campaign and quickly established himself as one of Thule's most trusted advisors. Tarkas twice dis distinguished himself in the campaign, first against the Tau and once more against the Necrons, and was awarded Terminator honors for his valor. Yeah, he can use Terminator armor, but we don't have any. Uh-oh. We should be out stopping you in like we did to the town. Wait, did you hear something? Coming out of stealth. Cyrus to Armageddon. In position. Oh, for love of... <laughs> yep. Yeah. Is it him? Marines, heartening news. Avatus, the squad leader who defended the hamlet, is still alive. The orcs incapacitated him, but apparently could not finish the job. Avatus is too stubborn to die. So it would seem, Cyrus. An orc guard position stands between you and Sergeant Avatus. Approach with stealth and eliminate the Greenskins. Understood. If approach with stealth immediately opens fire. Well, yeah, Cyrus is going to be the head of our scout squad. And he can be really freaking useful, but he's also very squishy. So it's a good thing we have two tanks. It makes sense considering he is using scout armor, since he Bring down hasn't that guard tower probably service. given a black carapace yet, which allows him to move in power armor quicker and better. Yeah. Also, something I think we haven't, we didn't bring up during the first Dawn of War in the intro, uh, when that Space Marine sergeant or whatever loses their backpack. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what's powering their armor, so that makes it really freaking hard to move around without <laughs> that thing. But yeah, Cyrus yeah. comes with these demolition charges, which, well, you can take a good guess. Boom boom! Yep. Four guards eliminated. Excellent work, Cyrus. Avatus's position is on your tactical display. Revive him so that he may join your attack. And yeah, we won't lose until we have until every one of of our squads are taken down. So we can revive them. Uh, yeah, there we go. We can revive them and continue uh, on. Damn orcs found another path through the hills. There is a relay beacon near your position, Commander. Secure it and we can deploy reinforcements to fill out your squads. Yeah, that is why we want these, because as you'll notice, everyone except for the main character has these little icons next to them. That's their, well, that's their squad mates. 
And well, Avatus is out of the squad since he was just taken out. So, okay, why didn't you not capture that already? Yeah, let's just capture the point and he will be reinforced. Hmm. All right. Okay. And yeah, you can see how... Oh. Reinforcements inbound. As you can see. Excellent. Habitus and his Devastator squad are back to full strength. Now, push into the hamlet and eliminate those orcs, Commander. Okay, and yeah, well, as is more than obvious, Avatus is the happy weapons... <laughs> happy? <laughs> heavy weapons squads. What is it with me sometimes just miss saying heavy is happy? It's the second time! Okay. And like the enemy, we can also garrison buildings and be a lot tougher to take out. Okay. Oh, good gods. Everyone out. And move forwards. You can see how this game it could, in some parts, is going to be a lot slower. And yeah, we will be avoiding. We will be avoiding a lot of side stuff. Those oh, that's. They could be going for help. Stay alert. Okay, we can aim Avatus into specific directions, which is going to be very useful when we're trying to well, cover stuff because we are going to be at points where we need to play more defensive. Okay. My squad should set up in heavy cover, Commander. The suppressive fire from my heavy bolter will keep the greenskins pinned. There. Devastator's ready to fire. Our heavy bolters are deadly, but they take time to set up and have a limited field of fire. Okay. And, yeah. As you can see, uh, Avatus can be really useful. Because when enemies are suppressed, they deal less damage and they move a whole lot slower. Also, I'll take that. Okay. A lot of these are random, I believe. So there's a good chance that you'll get different equipments through every uh, playthrough. Okay. <laughs> have I never, have I never gotten that uh, achievement? <laughs> Apparently. Okay. Say it now before the Commander, there is a second relay beacon near your position. Activate it to finish securing the hamlet. Okay. Uh, you want to put some uh, people into the tower. Excellent work, Commander. The hamlet is secure. More orcs are on the way, Commander. Set up your forces to repel the attack. This hamlet must not fall again. And see, they... They could be coming from here or there. Uh, yeah, they are. <laughs> Good guess. Would you call this a tactical or Uh, yeah. Like... Okay, it's not like, uh... uh the uh, commando game we played. No. But it has... In some way similarities? I'm not entirely sure yeah, what this would be called. Yeah. Strategy D is definitely there. An RPG. Scouts here, still engaged. This way. But uh, yeah, there feels like there might be something more to it. And that's only war. <laughs> Apparently that was victim number 500. Okay, did I did I seriously just not have a lot of these achievements somehow? Nope. Loot. Yeah, I don't think it despawns. Honored silence. Honored silence. Ooh, might be a sniper. A sneaky gun. You can guess who gets that. Okay. Yeah, I get. I think I know who. Avitus. Also, Avitus comes with this. Focus fire, greatly enhance the damage output, 
during you know, bringing ruination to the enemy, but it, it costs energy. Okay, you lot get out of there, finish that off. Yep. Never mind. Well done, Space Marines. Thunderhawks are on approach to return you to the Armageddon. Victory. There we go. Okay, uh, I hope the audio isn't too off-balanced, Pika, if you're still <laughs> awake, that is. I hope to be able to stay awake with all the gunfire. <laughs> Good point. Well done, Commander. They probably... With the hamlet cleared, we can secure the main route into the capital. The Greenskins knew to strike where we were most vulnerable, Captain Thule. Cyrus is correct. Someone is agitating the orcs and pointing them at valuable targets. If we are going to win this war, we need to find out who is using the Greenskins against us. Well, isn't this sounding familiar, huh? Yeah. All right, I was to you that uh, Pete is probably having quite frightened wide eyes. I wonder what the heck is going on. <laughs> okay. As our, as our heavy weapon squads, or devastator squads, we want Avatars to focus mostly on their ranged attack, of course, because if they're in melee, then something is wrong, as well is very obvious with their very, very limited melee tree, or I wouldn't even call it a tree. Okay, Cyrus here. Let's see. Ta -ta -ta. Infiltrate does not drain energy while Cyrus and his squad are standing still. Silent Revival, become able to revive if allied squad leaders, well, yeah, well, infiltrated without being detected. Advanced Infiltrate, become able to use accessories while infiltrated without being detected. Yeah, we want to focus down this path with Cyrus, because he is very much our utility yeah, squad. Excellent, and I think we have armor for him. Yeah, let's see. Grim Silence, level 4 scout armor, armor rate of 9, plus 1% sight range, not much, 48 health, yeah, always nice. After his entire squad died in action against the orc, oh, apparently my headset is starting to complain about being low on power, so I, <laughs> we might have to call, no, this, yeah, it should still last for a good while, but uh, it might get caught off, actually, can I just... Let's see, I have a spare lying around. I think it's downstairs, so I could swap over to that one uh, after I get it to connect. Uh, but yeah, I'll do that if and when it runs out of power during the stream. <clears throat> Let's see. After this entire squad died in action against the orcs investing greenskin gourds, what, what, <laughs> would you expect them to be anywhere else? On Typhon, Initiate Nairin took a vow of silence on his promotion to Space Marine that endured until his death. His last words were to refuse the mantle of the tactical squad to remain as a scout in honor of his lost brothers. Okay. Let's take that. And yeah, different armors also come with different looks. And uh, yeah, there was, a, there, was something, uh, uh, there was something that Rom brought up during whilst we were streaming the first Dawn of War, and that is that the Blood Ravens have a bit of a reputation, and that reputation, I think, comes primarily, or at least started, in this game, as in they are called Bloody Magpies, because they will, <laughs> they will steal basically anything that isn't bolted down, as long as they can claim it to be a relic. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh dear. Let's give that to Tarkus, since he's going to be the tank. Improved power armor. Ta -ta. Mark 7 Aquila type, made of thick ceramide plates and laced with electronically motivated fiber bundles. This heavy armor is distinctive of, sp yeah, of space marines. Okay, and each of them gains <clears throat> experience different uh, on their own, which means that these two have a bit of a uh, catching up to do. Okay, and now we get to pick where wait, to wait, go. Wait, wait. Hey, you could use a new item with, uh, with you, actually, yeah. Uh, oh, Let's damn it. See. Damn it. The shiny stuff tricked me there. I guess it's just no. we got those new items. Yeah. On the available weapons. 
Okay, over here we can just look up these traits that we get from stuff like this. I think some other stuff can pop up there as well, from armor or such. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah. Our goal at the moment is to take care of two orc targets. We, well, yeah, let's see, what do we have here? Tips. Okay. The test and the equipment for the Devastator Squad. The Heavy Bolter is a powerful weapon. Default weapon. Yep. Yeah. Listen charges. Campaign score. Campaign score is made up for, of two separate parts, Savior and Warrior. Savior rating increases by securing assets and territory, while Warrior rating increases by killing opponents. So basically just uh, a bit, <clears throat> a bit arcadey, and that's at the end of the campaign you get a score. Oh. And yeah, accolades, your actions con you know, contributed to your campaign score and campaign rank, completing missions, killing to the time. Okay. We have one deployment remaining today, which at the moment isn't going to be too important, but later on it is going to be. And yeah, over here we have our campaign score and the rank that we get from that. Hmm? Hello, yep. Rum! <laughs> Hello, Rum. Hello. <laughs> we were just Hello, talking how, about how you I'm just earlier. Uh, going well. Uh, we just covered, or I just brought up, the, the fact that the Blood Ravens can't get called the Bloody Magpies because of this game. <laughs> they they steal shit. Like, that's yeah. the meme. Oh, yeah, I've uh, seen the memes. I only recently, recently is got to learn about the memes about them. <laughs> okay. We'll eventually be able to uh, jump between all three of these planets. Uh, we're still on Calderas. There's also Typhon and Meridian. There's also Cyrene in this area, but, well, we know what happened to Cyrene, so there's nothing going to be happening there, I believe. It'd be okay. funny if we have to go there anyways. <laughs> Let's see. Skykiller's Raids, the planetary capital of Calderas. This rugged town has suffered under the predations of both bandits and xenos. And then there's Gut Rancher. Tangier High Pass. The high mesas of this region serve as important trade routes and uh, yeah, feature several markets and mining settlements. Uh, that was the headset complaining again. Okay. Which of these two shall we go for? Hmm. Sky color or Gut Rancher? Hmm. I don't think it's too important which, but... Go the second one. Okay, God Rancher. Yeah. Commander, the orcs have struck another valuable target. A powerful orc chieftain named Gut Rancher is leading the assault, but someone must have pointed him at this target, likely without his even knowing it. Take your squads and eliminate this beast before he does more damage. Keep on the lookout for clues as to who may be manipulating him. Okay. And we're going to get a heavy bolter from this. Thing which will for... be perfect for him. <laughs> <clears throat> the person we were uh, was just to mention. Sergeant Avatus, Devastator Squad. Avatus specializes in heavy weapons and, yeah, and can unleash massive volleys of gunfire in a short period of time. His Devastator Squad rarely leaves any survivors in its wake. A veteran of countless bloody battles, Avatus wields his hatred for the enemy as his greatest weapon. Avatus' seething rage is barely contained while off the battlefield, though, and his squad mates have been known to joke that while they do not fear the enemy, they most certainly fear Avatus. Some of those cutscenes are really pretty. They're really well made, to say the least. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Gut Wrench's location is marked on your map display, Commander. You will need to fight through the orcs defending him. Okay, and I think from here out we're going to get access to full maps. 
So, yeah, we're going to have to fight our way over there. We want to, well, try and avoid as many fights as we can, but we shouldn't. that shouldn't mean that we should back off from any. Okay. Let's clear that out. Okay. You, get over there. Cyrus, you stay back. Okay. Curious of Azurai. Azurai, Azurai. That, why does that sound familiar? Parable of the Lion. That's right. Yeah, that's really bad. I think it's, I think it's, it sounds similar to another word. Like the Azurai from uh, uh, Warhammer Fantasy. Maybe. Okay. Hostile forces spotted. If I'm not Azrai or Budelos. Maybe I'm thinking of Azurai from something. Either way. Okay. Avatus set up there. Oh, not not Avatus, Tarkus. Okay. Oh, that's a heavy cannon on their side. They also need to set uh, their set up. Okay. Yeah. Player of the writers. Okay, as it's very clear, cover can get destroyed by melee combat and other things like, well, <laughs> explosives and such. Okay. Pull back from that. There we go. Okay, now we can move up again. Okay. Nice and easy. We want to hit these for respawn points, of course. Okay. Uh, Avatus, set up like that. And that's when the, my headset ran out of power, so let me go get the backup. Oh, right. Um... Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Oh, stern it, Rom. <laughs> uh, I did not expect that. Oh, good gods. Damn it, now I want popcorn. You have anything to make popcorn with? Hello, the pizza lover. I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Kind of tired, but well. Yeah, I feel I'm mainly not tired of late. Okay. Uh, now to get this thing to connect. So I need to pair it up for a bit. Okay. Hey, I was thinking something. Uh, I mean, oh. it's October. <laughs> okay, this is right. annoying. Uh, I've, yeah, no, the, I've got Borderless Gaming running, the program, which is forcing the, the, which is forcing Dawn of War 2 to the front, and, well, the options stuff opened up behind it. So, oh, wait, hold on a second. Okay, apparently it's not desktop capturing. It, OBS isn't desktop capturing at the moment. It's capturing from... Uh, <clears throat> It's gathering to game capture instead. I thought I had turned that off, but I'm going to need to uh, disable the game for a bit, or at least force it back into a windowed mode so I can, well, have it be not in the way. Oh dear. Uh, 
there. Uh, there. Okay. It's, it's going to get wonky for a bit. I'll restore that in a second. After I have, well, freaking sound again. Okay. <laughs> I guess when he can't hear us, we can plot over how to uh, steal some food from his cabinet or something. Of course, it's being difficult, so give me a bit. There we go. Okay. Now I can put that away. And there. Uh, actually, I remember that. You know one thing I really hate Oop. about the new UI? I can't see if, um, what I require for an achievement. Wait, what? The new Steam UI. Oh, I haven't thought of that. I, I pay so little attention to achievement that I didn't think about it. So I was thinking, Hillian, are you there? That's one too. I think they're still fixing with the sound. Or at least trying to make sure you can hear us. Three, four, five. five. Okay. Okay, then I, I can thinking, push this back. I was thinking, since this is spooky month, how about at some point oh, we do wait, a Left for good. Dead stream? Yeah, I could do that, yeah. Okay, just realize the mistake. Oh, I like what you're thinking there, Rob. I like it. <laughs> okay, this is probably blinding you two for a second, but bear with it me is. since I need to. I need to force the window back into the correct spots. Okay. There we go. Okay. I can't close that program, but I can minimize it. Okay. There we go. Uh, why am I not getting... Okay. Ew, get freaking grenade. Get it. Now I'm not getting audio from the game itself. Okay. Okay, why is, is is this just the game being old and thus... Uh, I can't even hear any... Yeah, no, I'm not hearing anything. Hmm. Okay, everything is set up, so it should be. So yeah, maybe, we, maybe the game is just refusing to hook on to the new audio output or something. It, maybe it doesn't like when you do it in the middle of the gameplay. Yeah. AKA, you may uh, need to restart. Also, let me actually put the other one on the freaking charger. Okay, just why would it... Or, wait a minute, I think... Uh, there. Let's see. Oh, why? Okay, I will have to redo a bit of the level then. Okay. Hit the reset button. Uh, save and exit. Yes. Okay. Let me clean up the extra junk. Okay. Start the game up again. Takes a moment for it to get forced into its place again. Okay. Can that be heard? Can hear. I heard something. Yep, we have sound again. And okay. red lines. Okay, so we now know that the game does not like hey. it when you switch headsets. Okay, there, there. And there takes a moment. I'm to read the chat here from Pizza Lover. I basically had about 200 songs in my playlist of songs, and so I basically reduced the number from 220, so basically removed about four hours or so songs. Is this all happening because I came into Steam? It looks like it. No, it's just an old game <laughs> being... <clears throat> an old game being iffy. <clears throat> 
But yeah, nice to see you, Pizza. The wrench's location is marked on your map display, Commander. Okay. You will need to fight through the orcs defending him. <laughs> Repositioning. Tactical Marines awaiting orders. Cyrus here. Green skin active. Cyrus, get behind there. You get up front. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> Daylight in the pool? Uh, yeah. Some things across the different maps will change some a bit. Uh, let's see. Did it, uh, why did you sound so surprised from how I had 200 songs in my playlist right here? I'm, I'm pretty sure my YouTube playlist of music has over 2,000 songs, so uh, <laughs> that's child's play. Yeah, the, for a moment I was reading, uh, somehow my brain visited to that you would you had to listen to 200 songs for some reason. So it must be that my brain having a bit of a Say it now, be vigilant. This is a uh, brain fart. Tactical Marines awaiting repositioning. Okay. I, I don't have a playlist of music. Please not anymore. It is not on this PC. Okay. Well, play this may be free though. Yes, as I said, it be free. Okay, you get back. Tarkas move up. No. Why do I keep confusing Avatars and Tarkas? Okay, there we go. Oops, scores of Sinos, showing that the stuff is randomly dropped. Okay, just dump a charge at their feet. Hm. Wasn't that supposed to break concealment? Oh yeah, well. Uh, let's see. <laughs> There's not much cover for us to use over this way. So let's actually go around. Also, you can stop with that since you're just draining energy. Okay. They haven't fortified that. Hmm. Okay, you go charge ahead. You lot go set up. As best you can. Oh. Uh, and of course. Okay. Yeah. Did you really think they were not going to have orcs with rockets again? <laughs> hey. Why, okay. What? Oh dear. Let's see. Okay. Be well, Pizza. Our weapons are ready. Set up. Yeah, it, 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 it looks safely. Okay. Oh, dear God. Yeah. One drawback to fortifying in a building, at least with Avatars, means is that they're they're going to be spread out. So they will. They will able to, yeah, they will be able to cover in a much wider area, but they won't be dealing as much damage. Yeah, it'd be less focused. Okay. okay. No. Avatus, you sit up here because we we can guess what those orcs are going to do. Okay, luckily it's just a few idiots just jumping in the middle of a whole squad. Yep. Okay, double a bunch of idiots. Okay, let's go capture that point. And Tarkas, use your second last grenade to go deal with that, please. Yeah, a bit of a choice between demolition charges and grenades is that with a, after a grenade, the grenade is used, you can still use the building yourself. 
Wait, what? Okay. Weapons ready. Put in his shout. Get back. Though I think it, you, it could have been misheard as something else. I thought it get back. Okay. Whilst everyone's busy, Cyrus can deliver the payloads. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello there, Pyro Sue. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. <laughs> hello, uh, I'm Alien, a bit of a variety streamer. Uh, I typically stream. Um, it <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, know where I get bonked. <laughs> okay, we, we, me and Drakir, and sometimes wrong along with it, stream. Uh, thank you for the follow as well. <laughs> we we tip, we stream a, a big variety of games, mostly for the story, and uh, yeah, currently we're playing <laughs> Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 2. Uh, let me give you a shout out quick. Uh, actually, I can probably do that better with the phone because it, for some reason the mouse keeps getting tracked even when it's out of the game. Or, or not, apparently, this time. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. S-O... Uh, let's see. Pyro Sue. Let's see. What were you playing? Oy. Okay, Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> hope you were having fun with that. Uh, hope it went well. Or, actually, <laughs> when things in games like Baldur's Gate 3 go wrong, that's typically when they're the most fun. So, how did it go? And, uh, yeah, how was your day? Oh, good God. <laughs> let's, let's see. Yo, Pyro oh, Raid. <laughs> okay, did you bring them over, Pika? Because you're saying we. We were Chaos Gremlins. We streamed for a spicy 19 hours. <laughs> we're dying. Okay, go take, a <laughs> go take a freaking rest, Pyro. And you along with them, Pika. That explains why you were so tired earlier. <laughs> or probably still are. Oh dear. Rob, I think we need to load a cannon with a lot of emergency pillows and fire them towards Pyro. <laughs> and Pika, who is being a brat and refusing to go rest. Over to Pika as well then. Loading extra pillows. And try to not get loaded in there yourself. Okay. Uh, yeah, Dawn of War 2 plays quite differently than the first Dawn of War. As in it's a lot more squad focused instead of grand scale. Cyrus, pull back. You're not for. Oh. Actually, go pack in there. Get it. The demo charges are a lot less useful against mobile targets, but once they're suppressed like that. <laughs> Is it from oh. Pyro? I love Warhammer. I want to build a bloody battalion. No <laughs> idea why I choose that accent. Uh, let's see, Pika, I heard that you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just proving yourself more of a brat. What? what? Pika uh, swears? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of an in joke that people call her a brat. And well, she reacts like. Oop, just works that way. Uh, oh, away, away. Okay, this is a bad spot since we're surrounded on all sides. You go clear a path. Drop a grenade on, in there, please. Uh, let's see, the uh, want to build a Blood Angel Battalion. <laughs> Pika's a brat. Pika, fuck you. Yeah, that's typically how it goes. <laughs> Okay, I am oh, playing no. on the lowest difficulty because, well, things can be some things can drag on in this at times, especially with how many side missions become available later. Okay, Ooh, Cyrus, yeah. play Santa for a second. Okay, <laughs> did not expect that. Is that still close? No, that's not close enough. And Tark is that low on health. Wait, I just know it. They're hiding inside a windmill. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> That's concerning. Okay. Preparedness is 
Orcas? They're not Dutch orcs if you're going for that. No, no. I'm more worried they're gonna believe it's a helicopter fly away with it. Okay, let's go capture that. Heal up. And yeah, let's see. Yeah, I wouldn't say I love Warhammer, but I do certainly like it quite a lot. And the original Dawn of War was my first introduction to it. And I hope you heard that one there. Yeah, I heard it. And yeah, of course, the orcs are hilarious as always. Also hilariously deadly, but oh well. He's still a ball acquired. Yeah, like said, they will steal everything, even if it's fucking chaos. Okay, and our target is going to be here. So let's do a little bit of setup. Yeah, I also recall they're, they're also a bit mystery. Like, no one knows which legion they, original legion they hail from. Yeah, that is why they're such. That's why they are constantly nicking stuff because they're trying to find out where they're from. You got through me, boys, did ya? Guess I've got to kill you myself. Target sighted. Okay, and this is our first boss fight. Grenade. Yep. Target's move. Heal, move, move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was stuck in his own grenade animation. Holy. Okay. And yeah, this is also why we're going with low difficulty because some of the, well, all of them are just absolute bullet spines. Just move. Grenade. Okay. What can we do with here? Yeah, because he's dead, man. Well, he's okay. headbutting you a lot. Get out of there. Get in shot range. Oh. And he's going to throw something. As the first boss, he's going to be pretty simple, but some of them can get a bit, can get quite tricky. Come off with just a twist. And yeah, there's just there are just no subtitles for. Oh, yeah, there he go. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Each of the bosses are going to have access to that sort of bullshit. Oop. What the heck? I did not know they could do that. And also, I should have asked that. He's using a shield axe. Yep. Or... yep. Oh, okay, what? nobody. Oh yeah, it is a shield axe. Not uh, a axe with two spinning stall blades. Okay. Yep, that was Cyrus getting bonked. Scum is dead at last. Ready for extraction, Commander. Okay. That's one of two down. Okay. Stop the crusade of the righteous. Um I don't know I don't know deep you know. If I were to say what my favorite Space uh, Legion wa or Space Marine Legion was, it would probably be the Blood Ravens, mostly because of the games and mostly because I don't know the other ones too well. For me, probably Silent Banders and what is Space Wolves. Right. And yeah, we get judged after each uh, mission now of one to five of these medallions and we get extra experience based off of them though of course if you want to go high fury with killing all of the enemies you are much less likely to get high speed and resilience well you lose one for every time a squad for each time a squad gets knocked out i believe okay bunch of war gear <clears throat> good work commander 
Gutwrencher's death has scattered his orc band. I am deploying a team to search the orc remains for clues as to who is agitating them. Have we received any additional word from the neighboring sector, Captain? No, we have lost all contact with them. What could possibly take out the communications network of an entire sector in a few days? We will have to investigate, but the defense of Calderas must come first. Commander, deploy to the surface as soon as your squads are ready. As long as the city isn't held together by duct tape and hope, I think we're doing fine. <laughs> okay. Either, <laughs> either I was just not getting the. Either I was just not getting achievements during my original playthroughs of this game, or somehow they've been added in retroactively or something. <laughs> Let me see something. I don't have Dawn of War 2, but I might as well look up. Uh, Dawn okay. of War 2 has achievement. Oh, wait, no, that's Space Marine. Space Marine has achievements. Let's see. Dawn of War 2. Dawn of War 2 has achievements. Yeah, but well, if then again, it... it was released back in like the Xbox 360 era, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah, but I'm more questioning if it they got added onto the Steam version later or not, because I'm pretty sure I should have gotten <laughs> some of these achievements quite a lot earlier. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe for the Steam version, they're a new edition. Maybe. Okay, we've got let's. See. Initiates Lesson of Strength, a combat shotgun, which only Cyrus can use, I believe. Uh, yep, yeah, usable by Cyrus. The problem is, of course, that, well, he's squishy, so he actually doesn't want to be up front. But let's he have a look anyway. back. Yeah. <clears throat> let's see. This weapon gained its name after a squad of scout initiates under the leadership of Cyrus used shotguns and infiltration techniques to ambush and eliminate six devastated squads during a training regiment on Brackman's demise. Yeah. <laughs> if, if Cyrus is used well, he can be utterly devastating. The problem is that I'm not good at micromanaging, so I'm more likely just going to lose him in the crowd. Let's give him the shotgun for now anyways. Let's see. I just realized something horrifying. A space marine is huge. Yeah. How bloody huge is this shotgun? <laughs> Very. Okay. Let's. It probably counts more like a scatter cannon or something. Pistol of Ball. So the crimson teardrop icon of the Blood Raven chapter is carved into the grip of this Mark III bolt pistol. Blood Raven armorers claim this dates from a ceremonial exchange of arms between the two chapters in uh, uh, Blood Angels and Blood Ravens. Okay. A uh, ceremonial exchange of arms between the two chapters in M37, aka the, somewhere between the years 3000, uh, 36,000 and seven, uh, th <clears throat> 37,000. Uh, yeah, it, and the M stands for Millennium. Blood Angel Archivists have no records of such an exchange. Okay. Let's give it to you anyways, because it deals more damage than the basic thing. I stole it. Uh, what's up, what, what's up, Pika? Okay, let's see. Parable, Parable of the Lion, plus 3% accuracy. Be not like the lion who leaves a viper to guard his den and is surprised to find serpents <laughs> there upon his return. Uh, let's give that to Avatus. <laughs> 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 so are you, Pika. It takes one to know one. Aren't we all nerds? True. Well, actually, I don't know what it makes uh, one a nerd or a geek. I don't know if there's a difference between them. Uh, if Did there is, that... I don't really care if the, what the difference is. Yeah, I don't care really either. Like, if you you like something, that's fine. Let's see. Improved Bolter. The Stardis Mark IV C-type heavy bolter. Massive weapons with a staggering rate of fire. Heavy bolter suppress enemy infantry and cut them down without prejudice. Effective yes. against most targets in light armor. It, deal, it has a DPS of 4 damage. And it has actually identical stats to this one, the Furious Absolution. The only difference is that this one has a 4% chance to hit, restore 16 health on a hit. 
and well seeing how many <laughs> how many they put out per second that might actually do more than you think let's and you were going to say something wrong oh, i think he needs to go away for a bit okay uh, let's see. Forged just before the Vespa Crusade, this heavy bolter is the absolution of death to the enemies of man. Davian Thule himself wielded this weapon during the assault on the Black Abbey at the, at the climax of the Crusade. Okay. Actually, how much does the standard do? Okay, the same, <laughs> actually. Hold on a second. It's 10, 18, 34, or 38. Okay, for some reason... This thing actually deals the same amount of damage as his standard one, so what the hell? And... Okay. It's... <clears throat> it's for if we uh, would make the Force Commander into a heavy weapons squad as well, because they are very flexible. But let's keep them as a melee tank. Uh, we can send this one over to the Librarium to gain more experience. So he is about even with Cyrus. Okay, I, they actually got different amounts of experience from that battle, it seems. Okay, that was something I overlooked before. Okay, it makes sense. And also, what's the Commander, uh, double the icon there? And this uh, one? Yeah. It, oh, this, invite. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, this game has co-op. Oh, oh, come on, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> because I interrupt... <laughs> Sewell is angry, I interrupted him, so I'll have to read this out myself then. Commander, the orcs have struck again another critical target. The orc raiding parties are led by a knob called Skykiller. This knob leads a squad of storm boys, orcs equipment primitive jump packs. Storm boys are especially ruthless orcs that can strike quickly and escape before reinforcements arrive. Eliminate Skykiller. This will buy us valuable time and may uncover who is guiding these orcs. And we're going to get some pants for Cyrus from this, but I think he already has better than this. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, speaking of Cyrus, Sergeant Cyrus, Scout Squad. A veteran space machine, space machine, space marine <laughs> with a fearsome <laughs> reputation. Cyrus has chosen to dedicate himself to training the initiates who serve as Blood Raven scouts, honing them into full-fledged space marines. Sergeant Cyrus favors subtle and unconventional tactics, which are not always popular with his fellow space marines. These same tactics, however, earned him the attention of the Death Watch, an elite corp of alien hunters serving the Imperial Inquisition. Yeah, and he turned them down. <laughs> Also, again, I hope the audio isn't too low or loud with certain things. Sounds good fine to me on my end. Okay. Enemy location flagged. Anyone in chat? Who can confirm that? Blood straight there. Keep boasting, and the blood will be ours. Set up firing position in there. Set up firing positions from those. Uh, let's see. Been good. Okay. Yeah, that, that can be really annoying with some games that the, the audio balancing is just really annoying at some time. Okay, clear them out. Targets, are you going to throw that? Throw, throw that or not? You get back. Okay, leave it to Cyrus then, to actually do his job. There we go, get rid of their cover. Item increase, alright? And... It lets us get... It lets us restock these renewables of ours. Or, not renew... These new consumables. There, we get, we get one of those back, and we get one of those back. I don't... 
I don't fully remember if we get those restocked between missions or not, but from the from the fact that this wasn't full tells me that it doesn't restock between missions. So we'll want to crack those open whenever we find them. Just to be extra sure. <clears throat> okay, straightforward path. Gotta be careful of orc ambushes, and well, there's one. Cyrus here. There okay. Not a lot of cover. There. Tarkus, there. Cyrus, <laughs> off to the Taking side. cover behind urns. Yep. <laughs> Okay, they're just outside of Avatus's range. Move forwards a bit. Hey. Uh, yep, welcome back. Uh, I'm kind of tired. I think I'm just gonna leave. You guys. Okay. Fun. What? Uh, this went wrong. See you Later. next time and rest well. Box open. This way, brothers. Mm. Cyrus, capture that. Uh, yeah, we'll be wanting to stick to cover whenever we can. Because it makes our troops a whole lot harder to kill. And yeah, the Force Commander is a good way to get them out of cover. Oh, they've got a cannon. Or rather, a, yeah, a heavy gun. Parkers move up. Yep. Pull. And yeah, we can order our own troops to retreat to fall back. Let's see, move back. Yeah, move immediately to nearest rally point or base to reinforce and heal. Units falling back take less range damage and greater melee damage. That is why it's kind of hard to kill p targets when they are well falling back. <laughs> they get quite the boost. In and typically you won't get a melee range. Yeah, melee range with them anyways. Unless they're running through your units. Why the hell was he looking that way? Okay. Now, everyone get out. And we're close to Sky Killer. Yeah, we'll be getting less story in each individual mission compared to Dawn of War 1. But we'll still get plenty of it. Oh, boys! Actually, good that we got those shotguns then. A critical manufacturing facility lies nearby. Capturing it will allow us to deploy more rapidly. Okay. Use a grenade. And yeah, that was Martellus, the uh, local tech marine. Oh, it was a tech marine. Yep. Okay. Clear these last few out. And yeah, we'll want to capture these. You can actually see that there's something else on the other side. But for now... For now, let's deal with the intruders in our midst. Okay, this is rather bad since we're stuck between forces now. Cyrus, pull back a bit. Actually, just drop a charge there. What the? Oh. Carcass, clear that one out. Use a grenade. 
What the heck? Okay, I had a momentary lag spike on the uh, the, 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 the screen here that made me worried the first of you crashed or something. <laughs> okay. I did notice that there was a, a bit of slowness in the game reacting on the, on the stream, or on OBS at least. Alright, I don't know what they mean, but I saw them for. Usually when that happens, usually when something happens on your end. Yeah. Okay. Let's capture this place, the automated foundry. We feel our stuff. Tacticals destroy them. There. Okay. Oop. Some more orcs. Brothers, fight. Well done, Commander. I trust this was worth the effort. It was. With this foundry in our hands, we can redeploy more quickly. Its beacon also allows for healing and reinforcement. Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. Yeah, we can only capture one of these per deployment. So we can't capture the other one. <laughs> okay. Going to be another boss fight here. So let's get people into position. Okay. It's going to be really risky for Cyrus here. Of course, he immediately goes for Tarkas. Okay. Oh dear. Nope. I missed that. Okay. Yep. Move. Move. Okay. Navitus, focus fire. We want to work on his energy at some point or another. Oop, get out, get out. The same tactic that we can use works on us as well. Just tries to power bomb <laughs> us if we can. Yep, Tarkas, move. Okay. Cyrus. Yep, and I missed that. Okay, that's going to cost us a bit on the bonus experience. One has to be dumb. Enemy bombs. Yep, that's a bunch. What do I look? I lived loud, fast, and dangerous. Enemy destroyed, Commander. Another green skin dead. Make ready for extraction. Okay, that was actually a pretty good death line. <laughs> okay. And yeah, just some pants for that. <laughs> uh, let's see, fifty percent. Okay, we lose two apparently when one is knocked out. Okay. Total of performance, pretty good. Could be better, but we're definitely still making progress, though. And yeah, that's a lot of gear. Loot! <clears throat> well done, Commander. We have found crucial evidence among the remains of Skykiller and Gutwrench's orcs. 
Both had recently visited Fellhammer Mine in the mountains outside Argus. Whoever is stirring up the orcs must be using Fellhammer as a base of operations. Well, we know where to go next then. No level ups, but we do have more loot to possibly equip. Let's see. 4% range damage to Raven Mantle. This power armor bears engravings and adornments listing the major campaigns of the Blood Raven chapter, Blood, Blood Ravens chapter. Similar markings are often added to the armors of veteran battle brothers, making them literal carriers of the chapter's history. Okay. Yeah, we're keeping that because, well, it's really freaking useful to have healing items with us. Uh, let's see, 4% range damage. Let's give that to Avatus. Doesn't change much. Well, it does put get, these uh, on. Yeah, if he mm. even got a bit more gold on the chest plate or the thing on his chest. Let's give this to Tarkus. The beacon allowing for the deployment of Tarantula automated sentry guns at designated positions. Number of automated foundries secured on the orbited, yeah, orbited planet determines number of uses per deployment. Okay, so another reason to go capture those. Alright. Uh, let's see, just a normal pistol. And yeah, this is <laughs> this is worse than what we already have. Mark three, ballistic fiber weave fatigues. A rope less protective than power armor and not fully sealed, the initiates, uh, initiates of the chapter serving in the scout squadrons are well armored in comparison to other warriors in the, Emperor, in the Emperor's service. Okay. And yes, that's, I think that's, I think it only gives experience to the one you're, you have, to the hero you have selected when you're sacrificing something, but we can check that out uh, now. Let's see, 515. Four six. Okay, everyone gets experience. So that that's good. Okay, and yeah, now we have captured one of the two uh, <clears throat> assets here. And yeah, each area should have two, I believe. Though they're not always the same. Like here, we have an imperial shrine instead of uh, an automated foundry. Let's see. Automated foundries can be found on many worlds, assisting in the production of arms and munitions while serving the various needs of the populace. Securing them will grant additional support and allow the direct, uh, directed deployment of tarantula turrets during a mission. Then we have communication arrays. Capturing a communication array, uh, com the communications array on a planet will allow unplaced planetary defense forces to focus artillery strikes on a specified location. And the Imperial Shrine. Shrines to the Emperor of Man dot the service of many worlds and many believe are a direct conduit to the divine grace of the Golden Throne. The sanctity of these shrines is of the utmost importance and retaking them will allow for the channeling of their power to any squad deployed on the field of battle. <clears throat> oh, Pardon? I? I did have to rush here right after dinner. For now, the true enemy on the outskirts. Commander, the time has come to strike at our true enemy. Whoever has been provoking and guiding the Greenskins is holed up at Fellhammer Mine on the outskirts of Argus. We believe that Mech Badzappa, the orc who escaped us when you first arrived on Calderas, is also headed for the mine. You and your squads will drop south of Fellhammer and push north. Strength and firepower will pay greater dividends than stealth. For this reason, Sergeant Cyrus will remain aboard the Armageddon and provide mission support. Yeah, on some missions, some people are just not going to be able to be, well, deployed. And I believe there will also be other things that pop up every now and then. So for now, let's see, Tartarus, one-handed chainsword, 10% melee damage resistance and 12 damage to orcs. Yeah, that's going to the Force Commander when we get that. Or maybe this guy instead, Sergeant Thaddeus, Assault Squad. Recently promoted to Sergeant, Thaddeus has made a name for himself battling the Feral Orcs of Calderas and Typhon. Brash and idealistic, he leads his Assault Marines with undisguised enthusiasm. A native of Meridian, Thaddeus was an undercity gang leader when Davian Thule recruited him to become a Blood Raven. 
Although his days as a gang are long gone, Thaddeus maintains the brazen attitude he learned in the other city, the undercity thing. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Your command. Would you expect anything else from orcs? A lot of these stupid gits. <sighs> it's a good thing you orcs are so hilarious, otherwise they'd be utterly horrifying. That's gonna... Actually, oh, can I hold fire when you think about it? Move north up the valley, Commander. Get to Fellhammer Mine and find out who is stirring up the orcs. Okay, we need to go this way. So like, this way. Think about it. Orc is one of the groups that are thriving. Movement on the ridge. <laughs> gone. But those were no orcs. Here is the convoy. The orcs slaughtered them. We will avenge them. Keep moving. Uh -oh. Orc gunners on the ridge. Get to cover. Fury from the sky. Cut them down. Sergeant Thaddeus, reporting for duty, Commander. Did you have a pleasant rest, waiting for the most dramatic moment to strike? Good to see you too, Avatus. Yeah, we get Thaddeus, and that is why Cyrus isn't coming along. <laughs> okay. And yeah, Cyrus is basically similar to, uh, well, the Assault Marines from the original Dawn of War. As in, they are hidden... They are a hidden run squad. Um... Uh, Commander. There is a communications array nearby that we should secure for the chapter. Strategic assets like these grant us combat advantages and allow us to more easily reinforce in the field. I will run a scan on their defenses. Commander, the orcs are well entrenched at the main entrance. A frontal assault would be unwise. A jump, some grenades, and we're in, Cyrus. And right in the sights of the whole orc horde. Are you going to say? This is Thaddeus. We have our orders. Right I was going to say, they, they all assault the uh, Marines. Yeah. So, let's see what they are. Guess what they actually are. Yeah, but this time they come with uh, basically a hero unit. Is that what this type of uh, genre, version of the genre would be called? A hero strategy game? Maybe unsure. Okay. I don't I, think there I is a hope, way to sneak around this. I hope they did add those tags on the Steam Workshop. Oh, wait, no. It, uh, it's that Steam is Store. The there you go. Our weapons are ready. Okay. Let's actually combine both of the ideas by going for, for a frontal assault and sending Thaddeus in to disrupt their numbers. So we're going to focus that one down first because that's a, a heavy gun. You can tell by the little, well, <laughs> cooldown that... <laughs> okay, it died before it could even set up. Okay. I think that got off the cliff. And another one. Okay, the rest of you move in. in. Okay, yeah, that is often going to happen with Thaddeus. So you, you do want to keep him moving back and forth. You still not got the Wilhelm scream? I'm not sure if that's in this game or not. No, no. no. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> On the soundboard, yeah. Okay. The array is in our hands. 
Excellent, Commander. This array will provide us with valuable combat intelligence in future operations. Fellhammer mine is close by, Commander. <laughs> the generators to keep this thing powered. Okay, you'd think they'd start preparing more of those once we start capturing more things, but oh well. I'm guessing they have limited uh, production capability on those. Possibly. Okay. Trouble. Continue on. Guards killed where they stood. Someone else has gone through here. Swiftly, before the humans arrive. We cannot allow one obstinate orc to derail the Varsia's plan. It's Blue Sky Killer and Gut Wrencher. Beside for I says you ain't even orcs at all. And now the humans join the fray. I see. The fools cannot see the true threat facing us all. And yeah, it's the elder poking around where they shouldn't. Eldar must be the ones who have been stirring up the orcs. Kill those Eldar before they escape. Okay, probably could have aimed up better with Thaddeus, but oh well. Well, got a grenade. Ow. Okay. Yeah, we need to keep using Thaddeus to keep them off their feet, hopefully without getting him too hurt in the process. Okay, one of them was at the epicenter of that, I'm pretty sure. Okay, all of you get out. Okay, pull back a bit. Nope, oh, forwards. Thaddeus, move back and capture that. And we might as well make use of these here. Okay, those don't get refilled. But I do, I think, oh, that's too late. I do think those should get refilled per deployment. We'll find out in the next level. Righteous wisdom. Okay. Neither killing nor dying frightens me. <laughs> Did the force commander just get f fucking yeeted across the battlefield? I think so? I'm going to get a bit distracted. Okay, taunt and tactical advance. Okay. Why is that one just lounging there? You, the leader, suffering measure to your authority. Uh, that can't be good. Ow. <laughs> could have slowed them down given us time you you have doomed us all rant all you wish Eldar we stand and you have fallen zeal and fury are rewarded with victory okay yep as if the uh, intro cinematic didn't make it <laughs> clear enough we're going to be facing the Elder as well. Okay.
Okay, pretty good rating on that. I I don't really see just how you're supposed to speed run missions like this. <laughs> like the bosses themselves are going to take quite a bit of time on their own. Very hmm. high skill of micromanaging, I guess suspect. Probably. Now I actually want to go look up speedruns of this game. No, you don't. And this is a grave development commander. The Eldar are evidently provoking and influencing the orcs. Their involvement is hardly good news. They claim to be stirring up the orcs to combat a common threat. What could that be? I would not put much stock in what the Eldar say. They are deceitful and manipulative by nature. That they are, Tarkas, but the Eldar aren't fools. The warlock you defeated may have been guiding the orcs here on Calderas, but he was only one part of a larger plan. We are receiving reports that the Eldar are stirring up the orcs on the nearby Typhon system. The Armageddon will take you to Typhon, so you can engage the enemy there. I will relay all distress signals we receive from Typhon back to you. Okay, and now we can travel between the different planets. Okay, let's see. Sector control bonus, Signum. Yeah, this is what we well, this is what we got from the communication array. The Signum is a sophisticated, yeah, sophisticated targeting device that which allows you to call in precision strikes from the Imperial Guard artillery positions. During a single deployment, you can call in one strike per secured communication array on the current planet. So yeah. Another reason why you want to catch these, because you can get some really powerful stuff out of them. Okay. Let's move in here. Let's see. Righteous Fury, when performing a special attack in hand-to-hand -hand combat, strike with a fury that deals additional explosive damage. Okay. And we have Unshakable, highly resistant to knockback. Let's... I just realized we are not in the stream yet. We started late today. Yeah, uh, let's see. We still have some 18 minutes to go, according to my timer. Uh, we can end it a bit early if you want, if it gets too late. Mm. Okay. Thaddeus will want to focus down on melee, of course, but also stamina. Because, well, he's going to be in the middle of the fight most of the time. Uh, let me go, if I go, go brush my teeth while you fiddle with this. <laughs> uh, let's see. Herald of the Coming Doom. Level 4 Bolt Pistol, 11.4 damage, which is more than the Pistol of Baal. Uh, plus 2 melee skill. Yeah, some of the weapons can actually add on to these, or to your attributes, or skill. <clears throat> Pardon? Let's see. While the fighting against the Imperial Guard and Kronos is something in the chapter, and the Imperium as a whole would rather forget, a fragment of a journal from the 102nd Company of the First Kronos Liberators was found detailing a bolt pistol with a distinctive report the writer would you know, call the Sound of Doom itself stalking our men. I think Kronos is from a... It's from one of the... It's from one of the expansions of the original Dawn of War. I think it's from uh, Dark Crusade, I think. It's, de I de it's definitely not from uh, Winter Assault, because that takes place on a different planet. And Soulstorm, I think most people agreed to just not talk about. <laughs> Let's see. Curus of Azerai. Level 4 power armor, armor rating 14, which is a lot more than a current of 2. 6% six melee, six melee damage, 2% movement speed, and 2 melee skill. So that would actually... Let's see, does that stack? Or is that... Oh right, it's melee skill over here. Not Yeah, these are attributes. It means melee skill over here. Let me double check. Yeah, that does increase our melee damage as well. Okay, I was, I was, me, re, I was misinterpreting things. <clears throat> Sergeant Carol, yeah, Carolus' story campaign on Kronos led to assignments to a veteran tactical squad in the Blood Raven Seventh Chapter, where he wore this armor, where he, 
<clears throat> when a Thunderhawk crash stranded the squad behind Tau lines, they depleted an entire hunter cadre in Mercadre, cadre, or however you say that, before they were, yeah, before they were safely extracted. And That's the mantle sweet. of Cro hmm? Welcome back. The mantle of Cronus, same defense. Okay. Yeah, that's probably going to Thaddeus then. <clears throat> Welcome back. Wait, I did move away. Wait, just grab my toothbrush. Like yeah, okay. one at least. <laughs> uh, let's see. The mantle of Cronus. Upon this armor is etched a record of each battle that took place during the Cronus campaign. An apothecary noted the etchings when tending to a fallen brother at the end of the bloody campaign and handed it over to the Blood Ravens chaplains, who blessed it as a chapter relic. It's. Okay, uh, Thaddeus is behind on levels, so he can't actually equip that yet. But he can equip the pistol. Uh, let's see, Unforgiving Truth. <clears throat> uh, improved defensive bonus while in cover. Good for someone who is supposed to be a tank and in cover, of course. Another product of the Forge of Artificer Isaac Jordanus. This bolter is said to be named for the Emperor's Holy Truth, which destroys all lies. Some whisper, however, that the weapon's true name is Unforgivable Truth. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that is stronger, almost double damage. Um, yeah, let's give you this, even though it's, <clears throat> it's meant for melee more. But the, the armor rating is worth it, I believe. I, let's see. Uh, does it say anything about defense? Damage reduction? No. Okay. Um, let's see. We'll want to keep these grenades on Tarkus. Because, well, they're good for clearing out buildings. Plus, there's also this. Grenadier. When equipped, frag grenades become an energy-using ability for Tarkus, rather than a limited-use ability replenished by supply drops. Which, well, would be really, really useful with how disruptive grenades are and all that. <laughs> Still no commander items. Let's give Signum to <laughs> Thaddeus, even though he's most likely to be in the, caught in the blast radius. Uh, we can sell that one. Let's give Cyrus a level. It's Purge of Victory Bay. Uh... Reloads less frequently, plus six percent range damage. Let's yeah, let's give that to you. Actually, what is the damage? Okay, two point six better. But this is going to be a lot more since there's a lot yeah, a lot less reloading, supposedly. Let's see. Named in honor of the Blood Ravens' conquest of the capital city of Cronus and defeat of the you know, treasonous Imperial Guardsmen there, this weapon has a dark reputation among the chapter's battle brothers. Some whispered that the death cries of the Guardsmen of Cronus can be heard when the weapon spews its hail of bolts. <laughs> okay, Grim. And Scourge of Xenos. Same damage, same stats. The stats are typically the same across every very every weapon of the same type is 11 percent chance to give plus 17 damage to all nearby damage okay the blood raven's chapter the blood raven's chapter armory entrusted this heavy bolt to the sergeant brin when he became the second of the chapter's brothers to serve in the inquisition's death watch upon its return the weapon had, had seen much terrible combat and received the blessings of three inquisitors And Cyrus, actually, can we... Yeah, that is better for you, so take that. Okay, now we can equip the Honored Silence to Cyrus. And, oh, Prior of the Righteous, plus 10 armor rating. That's pretty good at this level. Uh, my Emperor, let your might guard those righteous warriors who face the enemies of man. Protect us from harm that we may win in your name. Okay. Actually, let's move the Signum. Oh, he can't equip that yet, but let's remove that. Let's move the Signum to Cyrus, since he's uh, going to be a lot less back. likely in the <laughs> in the blast radius. And welcome back. Yeah, okay. But I don't, don't brush my teeth. Okay, then we can move on after this. <laughs> As I said, I keep my headphones on, so I've been hearing everything he said, so I have not missed a damn thing. 
<laughs> yeah, there's a lot of lore on all of these items. And I uh, love it. Honored silence. Even when a claw punctured his chest, he did not scream. The Space Marine just grimaced, jabbed his sniper rifle into the eye of the giant creature and pulled the trigger. We all thought we were dead when the Carnifex showed up, but his sacrifice saved our entire company. Report from Imperial Guard Captain Mc... McGeehan? I'm going to guess that's going how that's said. And I think it's actually... I think the damage it shows is actually per hit. So you'd have to be... A, You'd have to do a little calculation with the attack speed for the actual DPS, but oh well. <clears throat> Let's keep up in your energy. Oh, and... That's a big sniper gun. Uh, sniper. <laughs> Commander, this is the Armageddon's navigation display. From here, you can review data on the planets of the Aurelian subsector. You can also order the Armageddon to initiate warp travel to one of these worlds. When you are ready, initiate travel to the Typhon system. Okay. I think that's right. Sniper is a huge nickname for snipers in Sweden. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Typhon Primaris. The, jungle, uh, the jungles and swamp of Typhon team, uh, team with orcs who have all but wiped out the planet's primitive humans. The few survivors are prized recruiting stock for the Blood Ravens. And we have two missions there at the moment. A priority target and a priority defense. Let's send on over. Okay. Bonus deployments. By default, you can deploy to one mission per campaign day. If you perform well, however, you can earn a second or even a third deployment. This allows you to tackle more missions before they expire and deal with current emergencies before more crop up. Yeah, some missions will only be there for certain amounts of days. Okay. Let's see. Defend the array at Mount Sicarus. The humans who once inhabited Typhon's highlands erected temples near the volcanic Mount Sicarus. Ruins now rise above canyons dug by ancient lava flows. And a spider among flies. Typhon Arena. The great arena in Typhon's jungle highlands serves as the site for brutal, for brutal recruiting trials held by the Blood Raven Space Marines. Okay. Which one shall we go for? The defense or the offense? Hmm. Actually, we need to do both of these, it seems. So uh, I was to say, let's go with defend, then offense. Okay. So in this Commander, case, would we mean... The uh... skins continue to attack vulnerable targets. A communications array has come under attack from an orc horde. They seek to loot and destroy this important structure. These arrays improve our communications across the subsector and allow us to monitor enemy movements. We cannot afford to lose that advantage. Okay. Orcs may fall back. Uh, yeah, may fall back, but we'll regroup and return. Sentry guns are available in mission. That's a, that's a costly loss expiry. Succeed or lose the array. And I don't know if you can recapture uh, assets like this or if they are actually destroyed. And we're going to get a sniper rifle from this. Okay, but now since we have five squads, we can actually choose to leave some behind. But the main character is required in any case. Thaddeus is optional here, but let's actually put him back. Since this is a defense mission, we'll definitely want Tarkus and Avatus. And Cyrus will find some use, especially with, well, <laughs> calling in airstrikes. Oh dear. <clears throat> The Orc Menace. Savage and bloodthirsty, barbaric and brutal, orcs infest the galaxy from end to end. Green-skinned and ape-like, these aliens are brutal combatants and form into massive war bands which set, uh, which set to burning and pillaging everything in their path. The most dangerous is the war boss, largest and most cunning of the orcs. These huge chieftains can inspire the fear and discipline necessary to trigger a massive wall, an orc uprising that can topple entire systems if not stamped out quickly. Yeah, we saw how dangerous they were in the first Dawn of War. Yeah. The orc assault is about to begin, Commander. The Greenskins will target the generators powering the array. If those fall, the relay will be theirs. 
Repositioning. Okay. Let's have Avatus face that way. Tarkus, you get in there. Okay, we get shown from where they're going to attack, so reposition to... So actually, there's a path there, so go in there. Then the Force Commander and Cyrus will just move back and forth. Since they're in buildings, they're going to be much harder to kill. Unless they bring in their own heavy ornaments. Target the gunner. And back. Oh, no, they didn't actually take him out, it seems to. Oof of loyalty. Grenade! Okay. Luckily, those aren't as effective on us as they are on our enemies. And this Marcus. is uh, some sturdy towers. Okay. It's actually... Okay, it has taken out one of Avatus's... Uh, <clears throat> one of Avatus's squads, but that can be solved simple enough by putting him back here, I believe. I think that does a proof that yeah. the in the order carriers are ragdolling. Okay. And when we tell them to fall back, they do become uncontrollable for a bit. Uh, oh, there you are. I, for a moment I was thinking, where the heck did you go? Okay, get in there. Okay. Yeah, this works. They're, okay, they were choke pointing themselves. Uh, Tarkus. Uh, how do we get only one to go out? Uh, okay, right clicking. You get back here. Yeah, we don't want to lose these. Cyrus, take out the... Never mind. Yeah, I was going to say take out the priority target. We, we, we can put up those sentry guns. Yeah. Uh, tarantula thingies. And we have our own set as well. Okay. Oh. All right, that's <laughs> for a moment. I thought what are they throwing down now, but no. Okay. Actually, stay in there. The Avatars will be able to deal with them. And let's see. It doesn't say anything about how many of them there are left. Probably should have moved that up a bit, but oh well. Let me actually put those right there. And okay, for a moment I thought I heard someone f pushing the door open, but no. Okay. Yeah, I I'll try to avoid doing too many of these because well, there's not much going on with this other than. Basically waiting for the enemy to kill themselves <laughs> on their defenses. And at least we can show this off. <laughs> and yeah. You can guess how effective that it'll be. Get out. Perfect place for grenades. Let's 
Cyrus, can you and your squad move up a bit? We'll probably want to have... We will, we'll want to have him close enough to actually make use of that sniper rifle of his. Let's see. Are they sneaking around? Or is... No, they're just going to be dumb and do this again. Okay. Tarkas, Joey in there. Well, he... None of them is painted... Actually, no. If they were painted purple, you would not be able to see them. Oh, that's a flamethrower. It seems to be actually the thing. Cyrus, why are we why were we running up front with that Cyrus? And yeah, Sniper Rev is also very good at suppressing enemies. Knobs. And that's the stream timer. But let's first finish this off. And yeah, knobs. In, it, it wasn't too noticeable in the previous game, but here it is very obviously <laughs> that knobs are bigger. Yeah. But they'll still die all the same. A knob is an actual title in real life. With or without the K in front? Uh, without the C. And it's, it's basically Italian for a noble. Okay. But I don't think they'd want to be compared to orc knobs. Yeah. Okay. I think it was accidental we, in this case. We missed. How did we miss two percent of them, or did they retreat? Anyways, now we have this here. As long as we score high enough, we can get more deployments. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah, in general. Nope. Excellent work, Commander. Losing that array would have been a <laughs> devastating blow in our fight to save the sector. Losing it to the orcs would have been particularly painful, since their plan was to loot it for parts. That would have been a blow. No arrays of this type have been made in two millennia. That is correct, Sergeant. We no longer have the technology to make these arrays. Losing one is a blow the Imperium never fully recovers from. It still remains unclear what the Eldar hope to gain by provoking the Orcs. Whatever their purpose, the Eldar are using all their trickery to disrupt communications outside the sector. We are uncertain how they are managing this, but our astropaths describe their interference as a shadow across the warp. A shadow oh, across no. the warp. Those were their exact words? Yes, those were their exact words, Cyrus. We have more immediate problems, however. Mech Bad Zappa is mounting another offensive on the capital, and I need to see to our defenses. Secure Typhon quickly. I could use you back here soon. Thule out. Why so concerned with the ravings of astropaths, Cyrus? No reason. I just hope that casting a shadow across the warp is an ability the Eldar truly have. For all our sakes. Okay, you know, so I'm... <laughs> I'm guessing this confirms two things. One, somehow those achievements have become active later than when I last played the, through this game, which was actually pretty recently, unless it was on the uh, Chaos Rising version, because um, yeah, like, like with how uh, we can play Chaos Rising, or at least select it here, I believe if I start up Chaos Rising, I'll just get the same here, and we'll be able to... Uh, select the Gun of War 2 campaign. But that doesn't make... Wait. I, I had a campaign... Uh, I had a file save here before, but I deleted those for... You know, just for making some room, and because I hadn't played... I played only to train, really. <clears throat> Practice, more likely. Maybe that somehow reset the achievements as well or something or maybe they're kept maybe they're done separately no that it that would be impossible we if we have not killed 500 enemies total yet so there's something wonky going on with steam and the achievements here and yeah losing these defense missions or letting them expire would per, most likely permanently destroy the assets <clears throat> oh, but yeah. for now it's it, Let's save and exit. And yeah, before we end the stream though, we're going to look for someone to raid. So let's move on over here, exit the game.
and do the, the usual stuff change the screen share to uh, where's the uh, come on then okay it right. opened up in the wrong place okay change the screen share to twitch Ost and let's go take a look this captain <laughs> okay <laughs> Let's see. We have Hisaya Rozier, who is streaming Dave the Diver again. Definitely nice to see them enjoying it as well. We have Swalbe, who is playing Darkwoods. Okay, been a while since I've seen of that game. If I recall correctly, this is the top-down... Yes, this is the top-down survival horror game. Jimmy McGinger is playing Final Fantasy V. I'm a Flanker is playing Ready or Not. Uh, WB... Wait, oh, this game... WBPL is streaming Big and Tiny Grandpa's Leftovers. We showcased this game at one point, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's this one, I think. But for some reason, it didn't right. want to work. It, it crashed off right at the end of the showcase, I believe. Okay. Nice to see them getting it to work, at least. <clears throat> Next, we have Touch Scaly Tail with Heretic's Fork. I think we've seen them play that. Yeah, yeah that's the... Is this, this, sim this looks similar to uh, Necrosmith, another game that we showcased more recently. Halloween is playing Lies of Pi. Gaijin Goomba is playing Games Plus Demos. Let's see, Raisin Gun Gunuki Awareness. Okay. Uh, I've... Oh, oh, oh. They're playing Dark Tides. That, that got updated today with a, an overhaul patch for the class system. So, yeah, now there's an entire oh, class... You know, yes, now there's an entire skill tree to go down instead of, well, only getting to pick between three different things per five levels. I'm definitely going to be playing this once everything has been... Uh, <clears throat> once the VOD has been processed. Um... Last but not least, we have Little Karibo, who is playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Okay. What would you say to, yeah, to Raid, or does anyone in chat have any suggestions? I want to say Swabble. Uh, Swabble Bay with Darkwoods? Yeah, okay. I, I should see if Bokupai had done a playlist on this for He really liked this when he tried the early access version of it. From all I've had, from all I've heard and read of this game, it is a really, really good game, but it's just not the type of game for me. Because well, it's survival Your... horror, and you can fully screw yourself over. <clears throat> anyway, for now though, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pika. Thank you, Pizza, and thank you, uh, Pyro Sue, if I'm saying it right. Thank you for the raid and the follow. And uh, I'm seeing quite a lot of names in the chatty program. So I'll definitely have to go check if any of those are bots. Sorry if there are no bots in chat at the time. But, well, you know where it is. This Twitch is oddly infested with bots. And I'd rather be rid of them than be rich in them. <clears throat> oh, dear. And, yeah. Thank you, as always, Drakir. And, again, thanks to Rom for popping in and chatting along for a bit. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining this madness. Yeah. Uh, we'll be continuing this on Thursday. In the weekend, we will have the Dark Side Detective. We'll finish up with Dust. And probably start with the Count Lucanor for, well, <laughs> spoopy weekend. <clears throat> yeah. Spooktober, after all. Yeah. Okay. But for now, let's start up the raids. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Have a pleasant night. And watch out for undersingles.